Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires in Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Natalia Vicente, who is Head of Public Affairs for ESOA, which is the EMEA Satellite Operators Association. Natalia, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, ESOA recently joined ITU as a sector member. Can you briefly tell us what ESOA does? Sure. ESOA is the CO-driven Satellite Operators Association. We represent a, a global and regional operators, satellite operators that have a, a, that provide services around the world. Um, we do not only represent the satellite operators, but also manufacturers and uh, insurers, etc. So, as an association, has the role to uh, promote and raise awareness about the benefits of satellite technology that remains an invisible uh, infrastructure. Not only that, but also wants to ensure that policymakers stakes all technologies and satellite technologies on account to avoid missing on vital opportunities of bridging the digital, educational and health divide. Now, in what ways do you see that the work of ESOA contributing to the attainment of sustainable development? Well, we all know that a lot of people and a vast part of the world is yet unconnected. And um, ESOA recognizes this and our members are working hard on uh, trying to achieve the sustainable development goals in different ways. Um, satellite technology is a, a technology that is anywhere, anytime, and is not affected about uh, environmental or uh, uh, natural disasters. This gives uh, them a key, um, a key uh, role in achieving the sustainable development goals. And many satellite operators are involved in thousands or in dozens of uh, projects around the world that involves e-learning platforms and uh, provides connectivity to rural schools and communities but not also that, also in health situations in which uh, fixed hospitals are connected to mobile hospital that goes to places that are not reachable otherwise. And these people will re remain uh, undiagnosed and untreated if it was not because of the solutions that satellite operators are bringing there. And, and finally, what concrete actions would you like to see come out of WTDC 17? Well, we would like to have a real roadmap and a clear roadmap uh, that involves uh, and takes on account all, this, all the technologies that can provide solutions and that can provide solutions now. So we consider that it's very important that the WTTC declaration um, express all these uh, principles and this roadmap and that takes timeliness as one of the vital um, contributions to the solutions that will achieve the sustainable development goals. We consider that no one solution will fit all the, uh, all the problems and no technology can afford to bring those solutions together. So we believe in collaboration with all other sectors and between the public and private sector. And uh, this is, the satellite technology has remained for a long time invisible and we would like to change that and it, we consider it's time to act. Well, we look forward to a long lasting collaboration with us. Thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. Thank you very much. Thank you.